Welcome to another episode of Smartphone Family History with Chris Knudsen. Today, we are going to work on attaching records to some of the descendants of one of my ancestors. Let's get started. First, we're going to click on the Family Tree app. And I've been looking at one of my ancestors, James Partridge. And I'm going to click on the menu button on the top right. And we are going to see how I'm related to James Partridge. So here we are, uh, Chris Knudsen, and my dad, my grandma, going all the way up straight line and to James Partridge and his wife, Keziah Bullard. James Partridge is my seventh great grandfather. Now, what I want to do is I want to look at his descendants with tasks. So I'm going to click on the menu button and I'm going to click on descendants with tasks. Okay, so here we are looking at descendants with tasks, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull down on this, and I'm just gonna limit it to hints. So, <clears throat> and we're gonna scroll down until we get to the 1850s, because I like to deal with records after the 1850s. They're a little more straightforward. Lots of records here. Okay, so here we are, 1850, Hiram Bacon Part. wait, Albert Barnes Partridge, let's click on him. And Albert was born in Massachusetts, and there's a record hint circle at the top, so we're going to click on that record hint circle, and it looks like there's a find a grave record, so we're going to click on that, and we're going to click compare. So on the left-hand side is the information from the find a grave record. And on the right is the family tree uh, information that we already have. And Albert's name is the same. Birth date is the same. Death date is the same. Uh, on the burial, it looks like we have the cemetery. So that's different. So I'm going to click on the purple different button. And we are going to add the new stuff by clicking the apply button at the bottom right corner. And that gives us more information. And I'm going to hit save. Now we're going to continue scrolling down, and we're going to, yes, attach this record. And we're going to click Done. Now, let's go back, and we're going to click Back again. And now we're on the list again, and let's go to the next person down, Hiram Bacon Partridge. And we're going to click on his record hint. And this is a New York State Census 1950, from 1915. Let's see... And let's click compare. So let's see if this is the same person. So if we scroll down, we get to Emma R. Par Parbridge, Parbridge, Kina, Mabel. This does not look like the same family. Ugh. There's an Ayla instead of a Eula. Oh, this might be the same family. <clears throat> oh, it is the same family. Okay, so if you look at the on the spouses, Emma R. Parbridge. If you scroll down, this guy on the right-hand side, we have his first wife as Florence Bell Piper. But if you go down, there's another second spouse, Emma Rebecca Emily Mott. So that Emma, uh, Rebecca, Emma R, Emma Rebecca, could be the same person. And um, child, Kina H., that's somebody that's not on this record. But Mabel L. Partridge, if you look at... That could be Mabel Lizzie Partridge. And then Mandy E. Partridge could be Maud E. Partridge. And Ayla could be Eula. And then there's another new one, Gertrude. So I think this is the, right, the same person. So we're going to click Yes, Attach. Now we're going to click... Uh, review other people. Emma R. Parbridge, 1859. That looks right. Let's attach the residence and click yes. 
Kina H. Parbridge. 1884, yes. Um, no, sorry. I'm going too fast. So here's a son that's not on the list already. Um, so it's like, oh, we're going to add this new person. And is Kina already on here? And we look down. Hmm, could be that Hiram Kaimu Partridge. Let's see who that guy is. Hiram Bacon Partridge. Florence Bell Piper. So let's go back. Hiram Bacon Partridge. Yeah, so that son is on here. Hiram Kaimu Partridge from 1882. So we're going to click on that. That's who he is. And oh, we're going to have to do it twice. Hiram Kaimu Partridge. We're going to click on that again. For some reason, it didn't work the first time. But um, birth date is just a little bit off. Uh, but still living in Fort Edward, Washington. We're going to add that. And we're going to click yes. Next. Um, oh, that didn't work. Let's click yes again. There. Now, uh, Mabel L. Partridge. Yeah, this is the same daughter. So we're going to click bring over the residence. Click yes, attach. And Mandy E. Partridge, Maud E. Partridge, same person. We're going to click add the residence. And we're going to click yes, attach. Ayla is the same as Eula. Just there's a difference in one letter. And Gertrude. <clears throat> so this looked like it was a new daughter. So we're going to click add new person. And there is no Gertrude born in 1899 on this list. So none of these is the correct person. So we're going to click the no match button and continue. Add, and we're going to add the residence, and we're going to come down here and click Yes, Attach, and Done. And we're going to go back, and we're going to click the black arrow again. Okay. Now we have a David Edson Partridge. Let's click on that one. Let's see, who's he married to? Abby S. Bickford. Okay. And let's click on the record hands circle button. Massachusetts deaths. Edson D. Partridge. Is this the same person? Wife, Abby S. Son, Charles E. So let's go ahead and click compare. And scroll down. Abby S. Charles E. That looks like it could be a different child. Edson D. Partridge. Let's bring up the record here. Abby S. Charles E. Charles E. Hol Holliston, Middles Middlesex, Massachusetts is where he's born. Okay, so let's go back. And let's look at um, de details. Okay, residence in 1855 was Holliston, Middlesex, Massachusetts. And in 1860 as well. So... But if we look at the children, Frederick Chester Partridge, Edson Raymond Partridge, Frank Herbert Partridge. <clears throat> Edson D. Partridge. Oh, Edson R. Partridge.
Birth, 1872, Charles E. Partridge. Yeah, there is no Charles E. Partridge. Let's click yes, and let's just keep going. Because that uh, um, the wife's name is definitely the same. So this is a new child, and... Oh, it says that they are Charles E. Partridge. That is a match. Why is it? Why couldn't we find that one before? Is this a different pair of um, parents? We'll click yes. Okay, so let's click back on the sun. I'm going to go to his record, and we're going to click on his parents. So he's got two sets of parents. David Edson Partridge and Edson D. Partridge, Abby S. Bickford. So both of those are the same. <clears throat> and uh, that means they're duplicates. So we're going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and stop there. And we'll fix this in another video. But I just wanted to show you that you can work on family history and just kind of you find some problems. And if you have any difficulties... Um, you can um, um, try to reach out to me, put a comment in one of my videos, and I can help you. Um, but if you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and join my channel, my YouTube channel, Watch Me Do Family History. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time.